You're listening to Catholic Express, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Tuesday, May 17th, 2022. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we are talking about Marian apparitions. When Mary appeared to the faithful at a specific time in a specific place. Yesterday, we talked about Our Lady of Mount Carmel, who appeared to Simon Stock. We also heard about Our Lady of Good Help, who appeared to Adele Bryce in Wisconsin. Today, we are going to talk about perhaps the most famous Marian apparition, which is Our Lady of Guadalupe. So remember, each time Mary appeared, she appeared at a specific time where things were happening. And it's important we know what was happening in the world when she appeared. So Our Lady Guadalupe appeared in what is now Mexico in the year 1531. Now, shortly before Mary appeared there, the Spanish had arrived and they had arrived, of course, looking for gold, but they also brought with them missionaries. And the missionaries, of course, came and tried to evangelize the native people. The problem was, however, is that many of the tribes in the region, like the Aztecs, were very violent and they actually did human sacrifices to their horrible false gods. The missionaries were just repulsed by this religion, and many of them didn't even think that God would want these people converted. So very few people joined the Catholic faith through the missionaries' efforts. One of those people that did convert was Juan Diego and his wife. They were very devout. He oftentimes went to church every single day, and while walking to church one day, he passed a small hill. He looked up. And he saw a beautiful woman appearing there. The woman identified herself as Mary, the mother of God. And she referred to Juan Diego as her dearest and littlest son. She told Juan Diego that she wanted a chapel built on this place in her honor and to go to the archbishop and ask for this chapel. So Juan Diego went and the the bishop said he needed a sign. So he went back to Mary and told her, and Mary promised that she would deliver this sign if he returned the next day. Well, the next day, Juan Diego did not return. His uncle had gotten sick, and instead he went to go tend to his uncle. He was there for several days. When it looked like his uncle would die, he ran to go get a priest, and he realized that he was going to run right past this hill where Mary had been appearing to him. So Juan Diego did what any of us would have done. He went around to the other side to avoid her. But Mary, knowing he was coming, went down and met Juan Diego. She told him not to worry about his uncle, that his uncle was healed at that moment, and instead to go and pick some roses that were in bloom and that these would be the sign the archbishop needed. Juan Diego was amazed to find these roses because this was not the season when roses were in bloom. And these were a special kind of rose he had never seen before. So he picked them. He returned to Mary and she helped him arrange them in his tilma. Now a tilma is a big, almost like a big blanket or poncho that a person would wear at this time. Since Juan Diego was a poor peasant, the tilma would have been made from cactus fibers woven together. So he took these roses. He went to see the archbishop. He said he had the sign from the lady. He dropped his tilma and there were the roses. Now, what happened next was miraculous. The archbishop saw these roses and knew that it was miraculous because the roses were his favorite kind of flower that he loved when he lived in Spain that did not grow in Mexico. But even more important than that, he looked at Juan Diego's tilma, and there was the miraculous image of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Now, you can look this up and see this image still to this day. The image shows Mary as an Aztec princess. She is dressed, and she has a ribbon tied around her waist, which is a symbol that she is pregnant. She also has 
the sun and the moon all over her clothing, which are symbols of being a god in the Aztec religion, but around her neck, she has a cross. And so this spoke to all the people of Mexico, telling them that she was the mother of the true God and that the true God was the God that the Spanish missionaries preached about, the God who died on the cross. So the bishop right away got to work building this chapel. Also, miraculously, through this image, over 8 million people converted in Central and South America in the years after the apparition. So it is truly incredible what Mary was able to do through Juan Diego, a poor, humble, indigenous peasant. So that is one of the most famous stories of Marian apparitions. You can still go to Mexico City today to see the Tilma, which amazingly has not disintegrated. And if you want to be truly amazed, read some details about the image on the Tilma. It will blow your mind. But for now, let's pray together the words that are part of the rosary that Mary gave to us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Just one more thing, a great big thank you for listening. And if you enjoy today's episode, it would be great if you considered sharing this podcast with another parent or teacher. All you have to do is send an email or a text message and we'd be so grateful. This show is a production of the Spoke Street Media Podcast Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.